final episode of our classic serial by John Steinbeck. The language reflects the attitudes of migrant workers in the 1930s. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Dramatized for radio by Steve Chambers. With John Schwab as Tom Joad. Episode 3, The Promised Land. Oh, my Lord. What are these fires, Tom? Roadblock, Ma. A whole mess of people carrying shotguns. You grab a hold of that jack handle, Pa. Look to God, you don't have to use them. Where do you think you're going? Government camp. Name a weed patch. Goddamn Nestor Reds. Burn them out. Here it was down this here road. Well, goddamn it, it ain't. And we ain't gonna have no goddamn Okies in our town. Which way is it then? You turn right round and get. Don't come back till the cotton's ready. Yes, sir. Don't you mind, Tom. Sons of bitches. You've done good. You've just done good. Ain't gonna let them bastards push us around, Ma. <laughs> what are we turning off the highway for, Tom? Where's this dirt road go? Same ways as us, Pa. South. Try to get round the town instead of going through it. Why do these Californians hate us so? California. The promised land. We'd come from Oklahoma after we was tractored off our farm. All across the plains, the same thing happened. There was 13 of us started out. Grandpa died first night on the road. Grandma crossing the Mojave Desert. Brother Noah lit out at the Colorado River. Couldn't bear to carry on. First place we camped in California, County Rivers run out on Rosa Sharon. Same place, Reverend Casey got himself arrested instead of me after I slugged a deputy. We had to hightail it out of there before they came back and burned the camp. This weed batch government camp. Right first time. How many of you? Well, me and Pa and Ma, Al, Rosa Sharon and Uncle John and Ruthie and Winfield. Mm -hmm. Them last as kids. Yeah, I guess we can fix you. Drive down the end of that line and turn right. You'll be in uh, number four sanitary unit. What's that? Toilets, showers, wash tubs. Huh? You got wash tubs? Running water? Sure. Oh, praise God. Tom, I'll drive down the line. Me and Ma can get set up while you sign in. Okay, Pa. Be kind of quiet. These are a lot of folks sleeping. Sure, don't you worry, mister. Yeah, Ma, I'll let you go. Name's Joe. Tom Joe. Jim Raleigh, camp manager. Howdy, Mr. Raleigh. Come from Oklahoma. Been in California about a week now. Yeah, it's fine. Got any money? A little bit. Why? Campsite costs a dollar a week, but uh, you can work it out carrying garbage, uh, keeping the camp clean, stuff like that. Well, we'll work it out. Camp committee will call on you in the morning. Show you how to use the camp, tell you the rules. Uh, cops? <laughs> no cops, just the committee. What committee is this anyway, Mr. Raleigh? Works pretty nice. There's uh, five sanitary units. Each one elects a central committee man. That committee makes the laws. The fellas that run the camp is just fellas camping here. Sure. It works, Tom. And uh, there ain't no cops. No cop can come in here without a warrant. Suppose the fellas just mean or drunk. First time a committee warns him, second time they really warns him, and third time they kick him out of the camp. Can't hardly believe it. Well, tonight the deputies burn the camp by the river. They don't get in here. Some nights the boys patrol the fences, especially at dance nights. Dance nights? Jesus Christ. Got the best dancers in the country every Saturday night. Why aren't there more places like this? Yeah, you'll have to find that out for yourself. Ma's gonna like this place, Mr. Raleigh. We ain't been treated decent for a long time. Say, uh, you looking for work, Tom? Sure. There's a committee man, uh, name of Willie. Him and his brother been laying a pipeline for a farmer. Nice fella. They could use an extra man. Holy Christ, you got anything else? Paul, Uncle John, and Al are looking. No, Tom, the job ain't gonna last long. Why in hell are you gonna get me on? I'll make it shorter. Farmer wants it done quick. You seem like a nice fella. 
Come by round six, huh? I'll introduce you to Willie. Reckon I'm gonna like this here weed patch. Night, Mr. Raleigh. Good night, Tom. Rosa Sharon, have you seen Ruthie and Winfield? I just woke up, Ma. Oh, tarnation. I hope they're just playing and not getting under folks' feet. I don't feel good, Ma. I'm going to vomit. Well, of course you're going to vomit, Rosa Sharon. Everybody does. Now get it over and then you clean yourself up. I don't feel like doing nothing that Connie. Come on. I'll take you to the toilet block. Maybe them kids is messing around in there. I wish Connie would come. Well, you get yourself upright. You've been moping enough. It's all white. Them's the toilets. That is beautiful. Just like in the catalog. <laughs> oh, get, get your head over one of them. Oh, don't like to. That's what they're for. <laughs> oh, that's better. What's this handle for? Oh, Ma, I done done it now. I done broke it. <laughs> Declare, Rosa Sharon. <laughs> if you can see the look on your face. Listen to her a hissing and a swishing. I, I didn't mean nothing. Just, just the hold of a handle. That's the way she works. When you finish, you pull that. What are you ladies doing in here? I thought this here was for folks to use. For men, folks. Can't you read what it says on the door? Men. Oh, I never seen it. Uh, ain't there a place where we can go? I remember you, uh, Jodes, came in last night. That's right. This here's my girl, Rosa Sharon. I didn't mean nothing, Mr. Honest. I'm Raleigh. Uh, you ain't talked to the ladies committee yet. They'll call on you pretty soon and uh, fix you up. Ladies? Come into my tent? Yep. Now, if uh, you want a ladies toilet, Mrs. Jode, uh, just uh, go to the other side of the building. Well, thank you, but uh, I got uh, things to see to. Come on, Mrs. Sharon. You go and get yourself washed. Comb your hair. I don't feel like it, Ma. Now, this family ain't gonna be frowny when that there committee gets here. <laughs> now, you go and wash yourself and put on them shoes of yours and braid your hair. All right, Ma. Huh? John? Al, get yourself up now. Oh, oh what's the matter, There's Ma? There's a ladies' committee coming to visit. We gotta clean up this here site. Yeah, you see, she don't get so goddamn clean, a fella can't live in her. Now, look here, Paul. I'm awful busy. Now, you go and wash Winfield and Ruthie's ears. Oh, and their necks. I've never seen you so bubbly, Ma. Tom's got himself some work. This here's a time the family got to get decent. Maybe me, Al, and John will strike lucky. Oh, I sure hope so, Paul. Better get moving. Ruthie! Winfield! Come with me! Come down here with my hat caved in. Do da, do da. Go back home with a pocket full of tea and old oh, do da, da. Well, Tom, you sure can handle a pick. I put in time, Willie. Yes, sir, sure did. Kind of like the feel of bending my back again. This Tom has got himself a first-grade mudstick man. One thing I can't figure, why do we drive here? Ain't you got a car? Nope. Had to sell our car. Run out of food. Out of everything. We had no job. We was hungry. Took ten dollars for it. Well, that's too bad. We ain't had to steal yet, but God damn it, we come close. Morning, boys. Morning, Mr. Thomas. Who's this? No, this here's Tom Jode. What's he doing here, Willie? We wondered if you could see your way to put him on. Oh, sure, I put him on. I put everybody on. Seeing as you want the job done quick, we just thought we'd get started. Yeah, I've been thinking, too. I've been paying you 30 cents an hour. Well, God damn it, this morning you're getting 25 cents an hour. We give you good work. You said so yourself. Yeah, that's right. It ain't up to me. The bank told me. Bank of the West owns most of this valley, runs the Farmers Association. We've done good work. Ain't you got it yet? The bank hires 2,000 men and I hire three. They told me, you're paying too much. Cut it down to 25. Cause unrest if you don't. Look, uh, if you don't want to set me on, I understand. It ain't Willie's fault. Oh, that ain't it. Look here at this newspaper. 
Last night, citizens angered at red agitators burned squatters camp. Now, those citizens were sent out by the association. Well, I know that camp. There were no reds there. There's always red agitators just before a pay cut. So, what are you going to do? We'll work, Mr. Thomas. Seems like I walked into something. By God, I'm going to tell you something else. Now, you fellows live up in that government camp. Have dances every Saturday night? Sure do. <clears throat> what about them? Farmers Association don't like the government camps. Can't get a deputy in there. Now, if there was a big fight at the dance, a bunch of deputies could go in, clean the place out. Are you saying there's going to be a fight in the camp Saturday night? Don't you ever tell what you heard. Why, for God's sake? Those folks ain't bothering nobody. They're getting used to being treated like humans. When they get back to the squatters' camps, it'll be hard to handle. I'm on the Central Committee. There won't be no fight. God, Jesus, I hope I ain't talking myself out of my farm. But I like you people. Now, get some ditch dug. Yes, sir. Rosa Sharon, you had a bath? It was wonderful, Ma. <laughs> you get in a little stall like and, and you turn the handles and water comes flooding down. <laughs> Hot or cold water, just like you want it. Oh, I'm going myself just as soon as I get finished here. Howdy. I'm Miss Sandry. Elizabeth Sandry. Well, I'm Miss Jode. This here's my girl, Rosa Sharon. Uh huh. In the family way. What'd you think it's gonna be? Which do you rather? Hmm. Boy, I guess. Huh. Are you saved? The sinners is awfully strong round here. Well, seems to me they's nice people. Every side of the devil's just a strutting through this here camp. You seen him? Same as. Folks laughing and, and dancing, and not just square dancing. Some does clutch and hug dancing. You want to watch out for that there baby. Don't worry yourself on our count. Girl just like you, she hug danced and dropped her baby date. Oh, my. Get out, Miss Sandry, for I get to be a sinner of telling you where to go. I thought you was Christian. So we are. No, you ain't, your hell-burning sinners. I can see that innocent child in that there girl's belly a burning. Oh, yes, or I bring you with a skillet. Have it a four. Yet. And don't you ever come back or I'll brain you, so help me. Drop that baby dead, she did. Seen people like her afore, Rosa Sharon. Glory shouter. Can't bear to see folks happy. I heard what she said, Ma. Now, you ain't to pay no heed. She's just a crazy woman. I wished Connie was here. You gotta put him out of your mind. Now look here. Before we left, I saved these. Ain't they pretty? Your pearl earrings, Ma? Yours now, Rosa Sharon. I ain't got no time to wear them. Yeah, you can wear them Saturday. There's a dance, mm. and we gonna put on our Sunday best and go. <sighs> Look all them people, Tom, all in their Sunday best. Ready for a hoedown, Willie. <laughs> Tom? <laughs> Willie? You all right watching the gate? Sure, Mr. Raleigh. This here's my pa and Uncle John. They'll come along to help. Appreciate it. Don't worry, Mr. Raleigh. We'll spot them before they get started, eh, John? You sure these troublemakers is a-coming, Mr. Raleigh? There's a car with six men parked down by the eucalyptus trees. Everyone got guns. That yeah. seals it, I guess. Got the fellas going around the fence to see nobody gets in, Willie? Yeah, 12. Told them not to hit nobody, just push them out again. Uh -huh. We got 20 more good boys. They're going to be a-dancing and uh, keeping their eyes open. First sign of any trouble, they close in tight. Mm. Sounds like you worked her out pretty nice, Mr. Raleigh. Goddamn lucky we got word they was going to try and bust up the dance. They'll pay for their sins. I think we ought to squash the hell out of them. No, th that's what they want. We don't want them fellas hurt. Might give them a kick or two. If you blood them up, them deputies will get you. Come and say we ain't orderly. They tried it before, other places. Little kick ain't going to hurt none. If you got the sock of Willie... Sock them where they won't bleed. <laughs> All right, I hear you. A couple of fellas come along now. I think they might be ours. How do you know, Tom? Well, don't look cheerful like the other folks. Look kind of scared. Okay. I'll go and find out who asked them. Tom, Willie, you follow them in. Me right. hey, and John will watch the gate. Sure. You know, when he was young, oh, 
which your pa was as nice a dancer as I ever seen. I remember a dance at Al's got himself a partner. Real pretty, too. Look, middle of the floor. Hope he ain't causing no trouble. Well, there's Tom, too. Side of the dance floor. I reckon he's fixing to dance none. I wish he could find himself a nice girl. <laughs> oh, you, you dance awful good, Julianne. Why, thank you, Al Toad. <laughs> and you're even prettier than you dance. <laughs> you sure got a slippery tongue. Well, I aim to show you how slippery later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, uh, you dancing again? Sure, Al. <laughs> oh! Well, hey, mister, watch where you're going. I'm a dancing with this gal. She's my partner, mister. Now, listen, you goddamn son of a bitch, get lost. Who are you calling names? That's enough, mister. Hey, let go of me. That'll be your partners at the main gate. I don't know what you're talking about. Already, let her go. <laughs> Let's leave these young folks to their dancing. Come now. I ain't done nothing. Come in quiet or you and your friend will take a beat. I guarantee it. Jack. Get up! Get up! What do you want, deputy? Home up, old timer. We hear you got a riot. <laughs> we got no riot. Listen to that music. Open up. I'm Raleigh, camp manager. Who are you? Deputy sheriffs. Got a warrant? Don't need no warrant. There's a riot. <laughs> You hear right, Mr. Joad? No, Mr. Raleigh can't say as I do. How about you, John? All I can hear is folks having a hoedown. That a crime in California? Quit stalling, open up. We got no reason to. You best go along now. I'll run you in for being a goddamn red, we Raleigh. We got no riot, deputy. You go along. Son of a bitch. Okay, fellas. Let's go. All right. Everything okay down here? Heard the whistles. Everything's just fine. How about on the dance floor? Sure was did nice, Mr. Raleigh. They didn't even swing once. Mm. Took him to the fence and kicked him out, like you said. Who was that, Tom? Funny thing, Paul. They was just ordinary fellas like us. Oh. Hungry, I guess. Trying to earn a buck. They'll stay hungry now. No fight, no pay. There's a change a coming. Maybe we won't live to see her, but she's a coming. Folks restless. Yeah. Things is getting pretty mean out here. Burn that Hooverville, beat up folks. I've been thinking. All our folks got guns. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, Tom? Maybe it's time we put our guns together. Had us a turkey shoot. Spring is beautiful in California. Purple prunes soften and sweeten. Cent and a half a pound. Hell, we can't pick them for that. Can't pay no wages. Prunes carpet the ground and the valley is filled with the odor of sweet decay. Cherries, pears, grapes, oranges. Too much fruit. Can't make a profit. Men who can transform the land can find no way to let the hungry eat their produce. The smell of rot fills the country. I like weed patch. Shame we had to leave. I weren't gonna watch my family starve no more, Paul. Well, what if we end up in one of them Hoovervilles again? Government can't got hot water and toilets. Well, we can't eat no toilets. I suppose there ain't no work up north. There ain't no use thinking like that, Paul. We was in Weed Patch for a solid month. And the only work we got was my five days. Well, we gotta get some decent food. Winfield can't eat no more fried dough. He's a jerking and twisting in his sleep. And Rosa Sharon's getting close to her time. <laughs> getting stranger than a jackrabbit. Keep saying she don't want no baby. Well, that's because she's scared and hungry. She's got to be fed up, Paul. That's why we's moving. Time was when a man said what we do. Seems like women is telling now. Seems like it's pretty near time to get out of stick. You get bacon inside the little fellas and Rosa Sharon before you get your stick, Paul. Because I got a stick all laid out, too. Tarnish! Stop the goddamn truck, Tom. Stop, I tell you. What are you doing, Paul? Got a ride up top where I can breathe easy. He's like as not to take a smack at you, Ma. 
You rhyming him pretty good. He's all right, Tom. He ain't beat. You just a treading him on? Man gets worried and it eats out his liver and pretty soon you just lay down and die. But if you can make him mad, well, he'll be all right. I'm getting tired, Ma. How about making me mad? You got more sense, Tom. I got to lean on you. I know you won't give up. Got talking to a union man back in Weed Patch. You ever wonder why them deputies didn't just bust in and raise hell like every place else, Ma? Ain't got no time for wondering no more. It's because we're all working together. Deputies couldn't pick on one fella because he'd be picking on the whole darn camp. We had to leave, Tom. We ain't got no food. I know, Ma. But this fella organizing for the union at the camp says we could do that any place. They'll just pick up your leaders and then where are you? We gotta figure out sometime, Ma. If a fella owns a team of horses, he don't raise no hell if he got to feed them when they ain't working. But if a fella got men working for him, he just don't give a damn. Something happening up ahead, Tom. Car stop. There's a sign. If you want to work, pull over. Well, we surely do. Morning. Howdy, mister. That sign mean what it says? Sure. Can you pick peaches? We never done it, Tom. We can pick anything. There's plenty of work about 40 miles north of here. You tell us how to get there and we'll get it open. Go north to Pixley, then turn east, about six miles. Ask for the Hooper Ranch. We're on our way. You know where there's other people looking for work? Sure, down at the Weed Patch Camp. There's plenty looking. I'll take a run down there. Thanks, mister. Be seeing you. Hear that, everyone? We got a sniff of some work. Yeah! <laughs> Orchards and vineyards all hanging with fruit. Country sure look pretty, don't she? I ain't really felt so good for a long time. Well, how am I gonna save up? Get me a job in a garage in town? Live in a room and eat in restaurants. We pick plenty of peaches, we might get a little house. Why are we slowing, Al? Uh, looks like there's a wreck up ahead. It ain't another roadblock, is it? Uh-oh. Cops, you better stop, Al. Where are you headed? Hooper Ranch. To pick peaches. One more. Better take this batch through. What's the matter? Why all these cops? Got a little trouble up ahead. Hey, don't you worry, you'll get through. Just follow the line. Don't need no cops to lead us. I don't like it. What the hell are we going so fast for? These folks are yelling. Well, they look like our people. They're turning off up ahead, Al. Slow down. A lot of guards everywhere. All carrying shotguns. I don't like it. Another checkpoint. Wanna work? Sure. But what is this? Not your affair. Name? Joe. How many men? Four. Women? Two. Kids? Two. Can all of you work? Why, I guess so. Okay, you're in uh, house 63. Wages five cents a box, no bruised fruit. Go to work right away. Why all the guns, mister? Just do your work, mind your own business, you'll be all right. Move along now. I sure do want to make us feel at home. Never thought I'd come to this, Tom. Picking peaches. It's a job, Al. And we got a house to go with. There ain't nothing but a dirty old shotgun shack. You fellas getting on all right? Sure, Pa. Christ almighty. I'd rather work in a garage. Now you just quit bow blowing, Al. Get to work. You ain't so big I can't lick you yet. God damn it, Pa. My box is about full. I just made a nickel. Only got to do that there 20 times for a dollar. <laughs> you keep working while I take her over. Yeah. First box, where you want her? No. No good. Put it over there. What do you mean, no good? Dumped them in the box, didn't you? 
Well, every damn peach is bruised. I warned you before you started. God damn it! Put him in easy, or you're working for nothing. You don't like it. There's plenty of others ready to take your place. No. No, it's okay. Huh? What's the matter? Might as well dump what you got, Pa. Huh? Yours is the same as mine. You too, John. What? Now, what Al? the hell? Well, they's all bruised. You gotta pick easier. Oh. What do you mean? We well, can't drop them in. Lay them in. That'd take a lot longer to fill a box, Tom. Well, if we want to eat tonight, we'd better get picking. Oh, oh I ain't heard that for a long uh. while. Sound of people tucking in. You wouldn't think just reaching up and picking it gets you in the back. I'll be all right in a couple of days. Got any more, Ma? Oh, I'm sorry, Rosa mm. Sharon. I'll get you some milk tomorrow. You was gonna get milk today. I didn't have enough, honey. We made a dollar, Ma. I know. And you add a dollar's worth. Hmm. Don't seem like well, it. They charge extra at the store here. It's three cents here and five cents there. I argued. But they just told me to go to town if I don't well, like I'm it. Well, I'm still hungry. Well, you get in a full day tomorrow. We'll have plenty then. Mm. Say, Pop. I'm going to walk out, see what all the fuss is outside the gate. Want to come? No, Tom. Seems like I've just been beating my brains to death for a hell of a long time. I'm going to sit a while and then go to bed. How about you, Al? Well, guess I'll look around here first. Well, come along. You can billy goat later. <laughs> Who says I'm a billy goat? <laughs> Besides, you may not be able to get out of this place with all them guards around. I've done my time at McAllister, Al. They ain't keeping me in here if I don't want to. Tom, you be careful. Now, Ma, I'm just going for a walk. Ain't no harm in that. I sure hope not, Tom. Dump potatoes in the rivers and guards along the banks. Squirt kerosene on the oranges. Slaughter the pigs and bury them. The people come to fish for potatoes, and the guards hold them back. They listen to the screaming pigs being killed. Watch the mountains of putrefying oranges. Children dying of pellagra because a profit cannot be taken from an orange. There is a crime here that goes beyond denunciation. In the souls of the people, the grapes of wrath are filling and growing heavy for the vintage. I reckon they'll come tonight. Reckon they'll come after you. Uh, maybe. Them deputies got you figured as a strike leader. They calls you the long, lean one. Well, I ain't no leader. We decide things together. Hell, Casey, we'd have given up by now without you. Men are worn out. You the fellas? Who the hell are you? I'm just going past. Tom Jode. Is that you? Jim Casey? For Christ's sake, what are you doing here? Tommy, hell, it sure is good to see you, boy. Know this man, Casey? Christ, yes. I know him for years. Come west with it. Well, that's putting it small, preacher. You said words over my grandpa. Took the rap in that Hooverville when they was gonna arrest me. Never did get the chance to thank you. Uh, Glad to meet you, Jode. Casey told us a lot about you. So where's your folks, Tommy? We heard there was work this way. Bunch of state cops run us into this here ranch, and we've been picking up peaches all afternoon. Didn't you see the pickets? Seen a bunch of fellas yelling. Guards wouldn't tell me nothing, so I come in here to see what's going on. Now, how the hell did you get here, Casey? Last time I seen you, you were headed for jail. Yeah, jailhouse is a funny kind of place, Tom. Great big old cell, and she's just full of guys coming and going. Well, I talked to all of them. Now, here's what I come to. It's need makes all the trouble. You see, if we stick together, we can get what we need. That's what's going on here? Yeah. You sticking together? Yeah, we struck. Couldn't live on the pay. Five cents a box ain't much, but a man can eat. Five cents? They're paying you five cents. They says it's going to be five cents when we came to work here. We arrived. He says they're paying two and a half cents a box. Jeez, you can't eat for that. Yeah, that's what we says, and we struck. Well, they drove us off. And all the cops in the world come down on us. When they bust us here, strike, Tommy. Think they'll pay you five cents? Don't know. Paying five now. Can't last much longer. Tell the folks at the ranch that they're starving us. They're stabbing us in the back. I'll tell them. But we had food tonight. You think Ma's gonna want to starve that baby just because a bunch of fellas is yelling outside the gate? Yeah, one time in jail, they gave us some sour beans. The fella started yelling. Nothing happened. 
And another fella starts yelling. Pretty soon we all got yelling, and by God, something happened. They come a-running and give us some other stuff to eat. You see? Don't think I do, Casey. Well, maybe you gotta find out for yourself, Tom. Hush up a minute. Listen. What is it? You hear that? Oh, you're just jumpy as a grasshopper. Uh, I guess so. I hear her. Sounds like guys come from every which way. Wild, Guess they're fixing to bust the strike tonight. Well, we better get out of here. Under the bridge span. Follow me. Okay. Quick. I don't get you, Casey. You're going to get yourself killed starting to use it. Yeah, can't help that, Tom. Fellas that start things like to get killed. Just natural as rain. So why do her then? Because you have to. We do what we can. Every time there's a little step forward, oh, she may slip a little. She never slips clear back. There they are. Oh, oh. Now stand still or we'll shoot you down. You fellas don't know what you're doing. You're helping to starve kids. Shut up, you red son of a bitch. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Casey! <laughs> Casey! <laughs> Jesus! You done bust his head plumb to squash. Yeah, so the rest on a bitch ride. You killed him! Won't be leading no more strikes then. See how you like it! <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn red hit a patriot! After him! Jesus, God! You, Casey's friend, get away. Head down the creek. Old culvert leads back to the road. Look out! Oh, oh, got him! Oh. After him, boys! Won't be hard to spot. Reckon I'll bust your cheekbone. We catch you, gonna have us a hanging tonight! Holy Jesus! What have I done? Rise and shine, everyone. Ruthie, Winfield, you too, Al. What time is it? Time you was getting ready. Huh? That you laying under that sheet? Yeah, Ma. It's me. Tom? What's the matter? Oh, what have you done to your Shh. face? Don't talk so loud. I got in a fight. Tom, Joe, you promised. I couldn't help it, Ma. Are you in trouble? Yeah. I can't go out to work. I gotta hide. Something wrong with Tom, Ma? Never you mind, Rosa Sharon. Now you take Ruthie and Winfield and get them washed. Go on now. Is it bad, Tom? Nose busted. Cheek too, maybe. No, I mean the trouble. Yeah, Ma, it's bad. Jesus, I'm weak. I'm gonna tell y'all. Everyone gotta know, even the little ones might blab if they don't know. What the hell is this, Tom? Huh? Last night I went to see what all the yelling was about, and I come on Casey. The preacher? Yeah, Uncle John. Only he was a leading the strike. They come for him. Who come for him? Same kind of guys turned us back on the road that night. Had pick handles. Oh. They killed him. Oh, Tom. I busted his head. I was standing there. I went nuts. Grabbed a pick handle. I clubbed a guy. Was you saw? I guess so. They had the lights on us. Casey was a good man. What did he want to mess with that stuff for? Said they'd come to work for five cents a box. But they got two and a half cents. Can't eat on that. Well, that's why they struck. And I reckon they bust the strike last night. We'll be getting two and a half cents today. Oh, sons of bitches. I can't get that picture out of my head. Him lying there. What are we going to do? By God, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of no, here. No, you ain't, Al. We need you now. I'm the one. I'm a danger now. As soon as I get on my feet, I got to go. I don't like it. Well, can't help it, Al. It's your folks. You can help them. Think you killed this fella, Tom? I hope I killed the bastard. Oh, Tom, don't talk like that. You killed a fella? Hush now, Rosa Sharon. Not so loud. What chance? I got to have a nice baby. Connie's gone. I ain't getting milk. And now he done killed the fella. Shh. You're going to get folks in oh, here. What do I care? What chance the baby got to get bored? right? going to be a freak. Get quiet, honey. The first fella Tom killed, neither. I don't want to look at him no more. It's all right, honey. Now, Pa, <laughs> break up some boxes for firewood. we got to get breakfast. <laughs> you got to work. Listen, everyone. If anybody asks you, Tom is sick. You got a plan, Ma? As soon as we get enough for gas, we're moving away. This ain't a good place. 
I ain't gonna have Tom out alone, no, sir. You can't do that, Ma. I'm just a danger to you. Everybody get out to work soon as you itch. We gotta make some money. I bet it's my sin brought this down now, on us. Shut it. up, John. We ain't got time for your sin now. What's going on here? We're going out. Don't want to work for two and a half cents a box, huh? You a bunch of reds? Oh, got a job offered. Good one. Yeah? <laughs> Where's it at? Down by Weed Patch. Seems mighty strange leaving before work's finished. We want to get there before the job goes. Who's up top? Just my girl and Uncle John and the little ones. Now, hush now. There's a sleeping. Let's have a look at you all. Say, wasn't there another fellow with you? Uh, you mean the hitchhiker? A little short fellow with a pale face? Was he? Yeah, I, I guess that's what he looked like. No, we just picked him up on the way in. He up and left when the rate dropped. Hey, was he bruised this morning? No, I didn't see nothing. Are you looking for someone? God damn red. Killed a man in cold blood. Tall fella. Posses and vigilantes looking across the state. Be a lynching if they catch him. Oh, we ain't seen no one. Can we go now? Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. He's a real desperado. Well, thank you, mister. <sighs> that sure was close. Know where we're going, Al? No. Nope. Just gone and getting goddamn sick of it. You all right back there, Tom? Kind of tight in here. We all through the ranch? Yeah. You better stay hid. Might get stopped. How's Rosa Sharon and the kids, John? Sleeping, Ma. Well, keep wrapped up. It's a cold day. Gonna be an early winter. Tell Al the kids to the back roads, Ma. And I heard, Tom. So, which way we going? Try north. We're done, South. Okay. North it is. <laughs> On the run. Gives you a funny feeling to be hunted. I'm getting mean. Everybody's getting mean. A sign. Cotton pickers wanted. Well, sounds like Tom seen it, too. How far we come? Forty, maybe fifty miles. If we could all pick, we could get some money. And see? They've got some boxcars where the pickers live. Well, what about Tom? Well, don't you worry about me, Ma. There's a creek over yonder full of brush. I can fix up and hide out. But them boxcars would be nice and dry. You sure there's enough brush, Tom? Sure. As soon as my face gets well... I'll come out. You're gonna scar pretty bad. Hell, everybody's got scars. You can bring me some food now and then. I'll just take this here blanket. You take care, Tom. And don't take no chances. Sure, Ma. Be seeing you. Meat cooking sure smells good, Ma. Been a long time since we could afford to buy new clothes and meat, Al. And a couple of weeks cotton picking sure lightens the load. You're taking your time getting ready, son. Going somewhere special or just billy goating around? Her name's Aggie Wainwright, Pa, and we're stepping out together. Huh. I think I've seen her. She's right pretty, Al. <laughs> I know. Well, I'll be seeing y'all. Well, ain't you staying for your supper? Mm, leave me some. I'll get it later. <laughs> see him again till morning. Oh, sure is nice to see him smiling. Oh, I just hope Tom's okay. Yeah, he'll be fine, Ma. We struck lucky for once. Oh, I guess. Got here in time to get one of these boxcars. Newcomers is having to camp down by the creek. How long you think the cotton's gonna last, Pa? Oh, not long. Gotta be picked before the rain comes. And these new pickers coming every day. Did you get milk, Ma? Sure, Rosa Sharon. Give it to me. I ain't had any since noon. Here. Mm. You drink it like medicine. Mm. Nurse lady told me to. You planning on picking tomorrow, Rosa Sharon? And why not? I done picked all week. Well, you're close to your time. You should rest up a while. I'm gonna need money for the baby, Ma. Gotta keep working while I can. Well, I wish you'd rest. You seen the little ones? They's hiding. Gonna take a beating. Gonna bout. Ruthie done tall. About tall. The little bit. It's her fault. Got into a fight and told. Rosa Sharon, 
You come over to the corner and keep your voice down. Pa, huh? stand at the door and keep a lookout. All right, Ma. Now, what are you talking about, Mrs. Sharon? Ruthie got into a fight. Mom big gal up and licked her. So Ruthie said she'd get her brother and he'd kill that big girl. Oh, my. Girl says she got a brother, too, and Ruthie says her brother kill him because he killed two men already. And he's out hiding right now from killing a fella. Oh, my sweet dear Lord Jesus asleep in a manger. What are we going to do now? We ain't got to leave, have we, Ma? No. Where are Ruthie and Winfield now? I told you. Hiding other side of the creek. Go and find them. Tell them it's all right and bring them back. Tell them they ain't going to take a beating. Now, Pa, you heard what we said. I heard. you got to stick around and look out for things. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and find Tom and tell him. Are you there? Tom! Over here, Ma. You shouldn't have came. Suppose somebody seen you with me. Whole family be in a jam. I gotta see you, Tom. Can we go inside your hideout? Follow me. Keep low now. It's just a hole. You gotta crawl in. You okay, Ma? Oh, fine. Can't see nothing, though. Been living like a rabbit. What's that smell, Ma? Pork chops and fried potatoes. God almighty. I'm still warm. Tom, Ruthie told about you. Ruthie? What for? Well, it wasn't her fault. Got in a fight and says her brother will lick that other girl's brother. Says he killed a man and he's in hiding. Well, that's just kids stopping long. No. Them kids will tell it around. And pretty soon, well, they're liable to get men out to look just in case. You got to go away, Tom. That's what I said right along, Ma. I know. But I wanted you near. I ain't seen you. <laughs> Can't see you now. How's your face? Getting well quick? Come close, Tom. Let me feel it. Give me your hand. There. Oh. You got a bad scar. And your nose is all crooked. Maybe that's a good thing. Nobody know me now. Oh, my. Take it easy, March. Just the wind. I want to touch you again, Tom. It's like I'm blind. It's so dark. I want to remember even when it's only my fingers that remember. How's everybody doing, Mom? Oh, we made out pretty good, Tom. I've been squirreling money away. I got seven dollars for you. I ain't going to take it. Hey, you take this money. You hear me? You got no right to cause me pain. Then you can get to the big city. Los Angeles, maybe. They would never look for you there. I've been all day and all night hiding alone. And guess who I've been thinking about? Casey. He was a good man. He used to talk all the time. Funny how I remember. Didn't even think I was listening. But I know now. The fella ain't no good alone. What are you aiming to do, Tom? What Casey did, Ma. But they killed him. Yeah. Well, he didn't duck quick enough. I've been thinking a hell of a lot about our people living like pigs, and I've been wondering if all our folks got together and yelled like them fellas at the Hooper Ranch. Tom, they'll drive you and cut you down like they done to pretty boy Floyd. Well, they're going to drive me anyways. They're driving all our people. They might hurt you. They might kill you, and I wouldn't know. Well, maybe like Casey says, a fella ain't got a soul of his own. Only a piece of a big one. And then... What, Tom? Well, then it don't matter. I'll be all around in the dark. Whenever there's a fight so hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Whenever there's a cop beating up a guy... God, I'm talking like Casey. I don't understand. Comes of thinking about him so much. Seems like a... I can see him sometimes. And Tom, later... When it's blowed over, 
You come back. Find us. Sure. You got to get back, Ma. You take the money, then. Please. Now, hold out your hand. All right. Now, you better go. Give me a hand. Oh, it's starting to rain. Now, go across the field till you come to a sycamore. Then cut back across the stream. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye, Tom. Over the high coast mountains, the gray clouds marched in from the ocean. In the barns, the people sat huddled together. Some went to the relief offices. No luck. You gotta be here a year before you can get relief. Then the terror came over them. No work till spring. And if no work, no money, no food. The women watched the men, and where a number of men gathered together, the fear went from their faces, and anger took its place. And the women sighed with relief, for the men would never break as long as fear could turn to wrath. How you feeling, Rosa Sharon? Oh, just plumb tired all over, Ma. Well, that's what comes of picking cotton near your time. You caught a chill. Now drink this hot milk. Mm. It tastes funny. It's got bacon grease in it for strength. Did you see Tom, Ma? Yes. I sent him away. Far off. Yeah. Couldn't do nothing else, I guess. Hey, John. Dunno. Can't think nothing out no more. <coughs> Hell, Pa. It's wetter than an ocean out there. Al, take off your wet clothes and let me dry them over here by the stove. Did you fix the truck, Al? I took the tarpaulin and laid her over the nose. Don't know whether it'll do any good. I've been watching that creek rising. Seems to me if she comes up, she'll flood us. <coughs> Might at that. Yeah, if we was all to get our shovels and throw up a bank, I bet we could keep her out. Be a long bank. Don't know if them other fellas would want her. They'd maybe rather move somewhere else. Yeah, but these here cars is dry. Ain't gonna find no place as good as this. Pa, if Aggie's folks leave, I'm a going too. You can't, Al. The truck. We ain't fit to drive her. We figures to get married. And there ain't nobody can stop us. Married hell. We're glad, Al. You're a growed man and you need a wife. But don't go now. Can you persuade her folks to help, Al? I can try. Be a lot of work and she might come over anyways. Well, we ain't doing nothing. Might as well be working. Ma. Ma. Oh. Huh? Did he kind of grab you all over, Rosa oh. Sharon? Yes. Yeah. Can you stand up and walk? Now lean on me. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. I ain't got the strength. Oh. She all right, Ma? Her time's come, John. We couldn't go if we wanted to. No, Pa. Then we gotta build that bank. Now, Pa, let's go and talk to the others. Oh. 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 Come over if we had filled up, Al. Better keep digging. She's still rising. Take it easy, John. You'll kill yourself. I can't help it. Can't stand that yelling. I've got to work or I'll run away. Why don't come up slower now? Got the flat pretty far on the other side. She's still coming up, huh? Yeah, let's keep at it then. Look at that willow tree. Stream's gonna drag her loose. She'll burst the bank. We gotta stop her. Ah, too late. She's going. There's a break. Try and block her. It's no use, Pa. Look out. John. What's the matter? Can't you swim? Legs give out. Now, you stand up now. Can you make it up to the boxcars? They still dry. I guess so. Come on, then. Al, you two. I'm going to try and drive the truck out, Pa. Rose Sharon, she done stop screaming. You suppose she's done? I might call me if it was more. I wouldn't have minded just being carried away downstream as far as I could go. Think you can make it now, John? I guess so. Come on. 
We're back, Ma. Rosa Sharon. How is she? All right, I think. Sleeping. I heard shouting. Something happened? Dark burst. It's an older. All that work for nothing, then. Yeah. Where's the baby? In the apple box over there. Apple box? What for? Oh. Poor little thing. What happened? Never breathed. Never was alive. Oh, no. That's cause of my sin. We done what we could. I know. We couldn't have did nothing. There was only one thing to do ever. And we done it, Paul. I ain't no good no more. Spent all my time a thinking of home. And I ain't never gonna see it again. Women can change better than a man. A woman got all her life in her arms. Man got it all in his head. Don't know how high the water will rise. Might flood the car. Have to leave. Don't you mind. Uh, you gone and done it, Paul. That truck will never go again. If we moved her instead of digging and water coming up fast. Hush and... now, Al. We got sickness in the apple box. Huh? Oh, holy Jesus. It just caused trouble and sorrow while it stays. Will someone take it out and bury it? Against the law. But we can't help it. I'll do her. Are you sure, John? Come on. Give it to me. Sent Rosa Sharon down on the highway, Paul. Oh, you okay, Rosa Sharon? I guess so, Paul. We gotta try and get dry, honey. Boxcar's flooded. We ain't had dry clothes for a day and a half. We left all our stuff behind, Ma. Well, I'll look after it, Pa. I'm going to stay with Aggie. When the water goes down, we'll come back. Now, let's get moving before it starts raining again. Be seen, y'all. Well, now, you kids, don't you go too far now. It was good of you to bury Rosa Shine's baby, John. Thank you. I never done her. I put the box in the stream, like in the Bible. But our baby was dead, John. I told it to go down and tell them. Go down and rot and tell all them rich, well-fed people what we've been going through. Uh, seems like I'm so full of stuff that happened. Can't feel nothing no more. Was it my fault, Ma? The baby? Weren't nobody's fault, Rosa Sharon. I keep thinking it's a punishment because I've been sinful. It's because we're poor, Rosa Sharon. you got to stop talking like Uncle John. Oh, it's raining again, Ma. What are we going to do? Pa? John? Can you carry Rosa Sharon? Sure. Where are you fixing to go, Ma? Well, there's a barn just up the pasture. Ruthie, Winfield, run up the field. We'll follow you. When you're ready, John. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rose Sharon. Thank you, Paul. Uncle John. Oh, no use hurrying. We're wet through anyway. Maybe we can get dry. Well, come on. It's not far now. Maybe there's hay inside. There's hay. Come on in. Set her down, John. All right. Oh. Thank you. Lay down, Rosa Sharon. I'll try and figure some way to dry you off. Look, Ma. There's someone in the corner. A man and a boy. You own this here barn? No. We just come in out of the wet. Got a sick girl. You got a dry blanket we could use and get her wet clothes off? Sure. Here. Thank you. What's, what's the matter with that fella? It's my pa. He's starving. Ain't it for six days. Give me the food. Now he's too weak. Well, you just be easy. While I get them wet clothes off my girl. He gotta have super milk. You, you fellas got any money to get any milk? Hush. We'll figure something out. He's dying, I tell you. Gotta have milk. 
got it. Ma, uh, you thinking the same as me, Rosa Sharon? Yes, Ma. I knowed you would. I knowed. Will you all go out? Why, Ma? What's she gonna do? Hush now. You go and stand under the eaves with Ruthie and Paul. You too, son. Is my Pa gonna be all right? Maybe. Now go on outside. Ruthie, Winfield, you hear it? Go on, Rosa Sharon. I'll stand over here. Here you are, mister. I got plenty of milk. No. You got to. Your boy needs you. Now go on. Just take what you need. That's it. There. That's it. In the final episode of The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, dramatized for radio by Steve Chambers, Tom Jode was played by John Schwab. Ma was Pat Starr, Pa, William Roberts, and Casey was Bob Sherman. Rosa Sharon was Teresa Gallagher, Al, Ryan McCluskey, and Uncle John, Bill Bailey. Raleigh was Colin Stinton, Willie, Dylan Smith, Lisbeth, Bryony Glasgow, Mr. Thomas, Jonathan Keeble, and Winfield, Martin Sherman. The director was Marion Nancaro. <laughs>